historical moments are played out by people doing their jobs. Director of the Texas Politics Project, James Henson, says walking into the state capitol, it's hard to ignore the history of the moment. I think maybe even more important than the highfalutin notions of, of history is the fact that the process is moving forward and it's working. He says while there's a long trial ahead, we can learn from what we've seen so far. We saw those votes on those motions range from six to ten or so votes in favor of dismissing the charges. That begins to give us a little bit of a sense of where the votes are, both for and against the attorney general. Four witnesses have testified, and already he says we're seeing two distinct stories. In the prosecution, righteous whistleblowers. People of conscience who were defending the public interest in their urging an investigation of the attorney general. And the defense. And that is that there was some kind of a conspiracy at work to remove the attorney general for shadowy, self-centered motives. He says that'll be the challenge for prosecution, who holds the immense burden of making the case for impeachment beyond a reasonable doubt. It's not the defense's job to provide a bunch of evidence. It's their main job is to cast doubt upon the arguments. Finally, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick and the 31 senators all participating in a process that hasn't been seen in a century. To be attentive and to make judgments that we expect will be inflected by their personal politics, but that are driven by the facts and that are driven by the stakes of a process that is designed to protect the integrity of the political system. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.